For example, if our cable was only 3 meters long, the voltage drop across the cable would be only 0.28 volts. Current. Reducing the current will help limit voltage drop, but doing this means running our tape at a reduced brightness. Voltage. Using a higher voltage strip, such as 12 volt tape, can reduce the effects of voltage drop, as 12 volts will experience a smaller percentage of voltage drop over a set distance compared to 5 volt strip. Cross-sectional area or wire gauge. Using a thicker cable can help reduce the voltage drop as we've shown in previous episodes. We've been using 14 AWG in our scenario, which has proven to be not thick enough. In this scenario, we'll need to go up to 11 AWG or 4.17 millimeters squared. This will result in a voltage drop of 0.28 volts, which is within the range that we'll need to be in to ensure our second power injection will be able to boost the voltage of the tape properly. 